today's video got inspired by this beautiful book which I received as a Christmas present from my sister and brother-in-law and um, it's called the Vermont Country Store. It's a cookbook as well as um, sort of a, a book about the history um, and lore and some stories of a famous Vermont Country Store which was created by the Orton family uh, back in 1946. The book captures the essence of life in New England today, in our days, but it also takes you back to the older way of living, a uh, much simpler way of living, which I, I really, really like. This one particular quote from the book made me so, so inspired. I wanted to revive an authentic, old-fashioned, rural operating store with New England foods store cheese and crackers, bolts of calico cloth, kitchen knives and cooking forks, and the atmosphere redolent with an evocative papuri of food smoke from the pot-bellied stove and of tobacco, peppermint sticks, freshly cut cheese, roasting coffee, nutmegs and cinnamon, and so many other nostalgic things I remembered. So today I'll be cooking uh, braised short ribs in red wine with some uh, beautiful vegetables and mashed potatoes. Okay, so I've got five beautiful short ribs, you can see them here. All you need to do now is give them a little bit of seasoning. Give them a little bit of seasoning on all sides, coat them, nicely coat them in flour. In the meantime, you're hot, you have to have a hot pan ready to go, uh, ready to be used for braising the short ribs. Right. So now let's cut the carrots and the celery into small pieces. I like it chunky. Let's do the same with onions, smaller chunks. Our short treats are browning away. We're going for a Californian uh, blended red. This is a blend of three different reds from uh, Menage a Trois uh, in California. Yeah, that's a beautiful wine actually. So um, yeah, I, I think if you cook uh, with wine, you should cook with wine that is good for drinking. So that's that's my motto. So I put the oven to uh, 395 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so the oven is on. Uh, the uh, short ribs are almost brown. So let's assemble it all together into one dish now. So yeah, I think uh, it'd be a mistake to not try the wine. Got to make sure it's not off. Absolutely. So not a whole bottle of wine, but... Um, yeah, a bottle minus a glass. Two glasses, actually. <laughs> Cheers, baby. Merry Christmas. Cheers. Beautiful. I've got two cubes of this beautiful French beef stock we got in France um, last time we were there, so I'm going to make some beautiful beef stock. What's that machine in front of the beef stock? What's that white? Oh, thing? this is a famous uh, machine called Thermomix. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, actually a machine that can do anything really, yeah. all sorts of cooking. You use it a lot. I use it a lot. I use it for um, baking, for um making soups for uh blending things for uh you know grinding things and uh, and that cookbook is online and the thermomix exactly. just accesses it through the internet connection yeah oh yeah it's pretty nifty this machine we got it uh, at the start of the pandemic um uh, in 2020 and um, i have been using it since since then it's it's really good Let's put the uh, brown, beautiful brown short ribs into the um, uh, your Dutch oven. So let's add some rosemary, some thyme, um, and some sage. 
So. Okay. So adding all of this to the um, short ribs. Now we're also adding some garlic. Mm -hmm. Get some garlic going. Just full um, garlic cloves. Yep, yeah, just full and onion. Carrots. I think I've got too much um, going on here, but that's okay. Yeah. It will all cook away. And break down. And, and break down, exactly. Because yeah. it's going to be sitting in the oven for three hours, like I said. So three hours. Yeah. Mm. So now, get some wine. Nice. I think that's oh, some beef stock. stock. Of course. Oh, and look at that. Almost yeah. right up to the top. You can see beautiful color. Oh, okay, put a little bit of black pepper in there. Very good. I usually put it on a tray just in case it spills out. This way you don't have to clean the oven. So now it goes in. 395 Fahrenheit for three hours. So I've got this beautiful linen cloth, which is uh, a present from my mom. Nice. And this beautiful flower arrangement in the center, courtesy of um, Mr. McKinnon. They're lovely and they complement the color of the cloth, I think. Um, I'm using lovely spode plates. I'm using these beautiful crystal glasses. Uh, this is also a present from my mum. And in the meantime, the ribs are cooking away. So we've got another I think two and a half hours to go. All right, guys, so the short ribs are ready. I'm about to take them out of the oven. Mm. Smell this. Yeah. Oh, this is gorgeous. I can smell it. Oh, this is beautiful. What so, do? I'm going to take them out and put them on this beautiful spode plate. Nice. You might remember from our, one of our antique stores visits. The meat is literally coming off the bone. Right. Right. Let's see. So, okay. that's done. Now, we'll need to dish out all of these wonderful vegetables because we will use the liquid for the most delicious gravy use the carrots because they are delicioso. Yeah. Wonderful. So I've just added some butter. So this is, mm, I mean it smells delicious. The red wine, the uh, all of the vegetables. Juice um, from the meats as yeah. well. So let's just get it reduced a little bit. Yes. And then, what are we going to do after that? Eat. Yes. So last but not least, the vinor. This is a lovely um, ship's bottom um, decanter. We got it one of the auction uh, trips up the Hudson one weekend. Very nice. Bon appétit Well, Merry Christmas one and all! Have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas! Enjoy all of your Christmas festivities! Eat, drink and be happy! Cheers everybody! Cheers! It's actually snowing! It's snowing in New York, it's beautiful. Hello Christmas.